Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm PT, and for today what I have here is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. So this game was developed by Ubisoft Paris and now we know that the game was really developed by, uh, I mean with Anvil Next engine, which is the engine behind Assassin's Creed, For Honor, Raven Six Siege, so it's usually the internal engine from Ubisoft, but readapt completely to a massive open world game. So I guess it's the first time that we saw Evil Next like this way, and because of that, I guess it's very demanding because, yeah, it's the first time, you know. So let's open the menu. I guess it's a little bit lagging over here. And let me show you the settings that I'm currently playing. Okay, it's taking a while. I already clicked on options. Okay, video. We need to wait again. So the hard disk drive is really getting hit in here. So as you can see I'm playing with a native resolution but resolution scale set to 0 0.7. So in case you are wondering why I didn't play it with lower resolution, it's because it's essentially the same. Because I can put the game at 1024 per 768 but I can only drop the resolution scaling back to 0 0.9. And so it's basically the same thing. Playing with that resolution or playing with the native with the resolution coming to 0 0.7 is exactly the same thing regarding the performance. So for that I keep the, the native one, okay? So we are going to play the first mission of the game a little bit faster because I want the video to be a little bit quick but might take a little bit longer than the usual. So if you want to check the results without recording, just check on the description of the video or wait until the end of it. Although, let me just say something a little bit on advance. The game will stop eventually at some points. That is mostly because of the recording, because this game you need to have a very fast hard disk drive or a very fast CPU, because if you don't have it, the game either don't load the textures on time or just stops and waits until the thing is complete. And since recording takes a very big impact on the hard disk drive and on CPU, uh, there is a sequence just right now where the game will just stop momentarily for two to three times, but then it gets back again with no problem. So see, it stopped. So this didn't happen to me while not recording, okay? It was on me while recording. I just want you to know that, in case you want you want to play this game on your laptop, it's not. It's probably that this thing won't happen to you while playing normally. Okay, it's just while we're recording. As you can see, again, a massive big stop. And okay, you can even look to any place that you want, and then oh, we are back. So that's how this works. Okay. So that's all. I want. I hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video without any more censoring because I guess this one is the last one. And hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Good eyes on the target. Let's move. Enemy activity nearby. He's history. The drone is up. See? That's a kill. They're gonna see you. Hold on. Silencio. Marche. Pinche cabron. 
Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. Fast, 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 please. Heads up. We need to get this done in a hurry. Gun. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. That's a kill. You're gonna get made. Hang back. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. Opening fire. Take me down. Better not roll this thing. Farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Here's target number five. Cartel gunman. The barn. Inside. That was fucking close. Que alguien me escucha, cabrones. Sé que están ahí. Así que escuchen bien. Que sigamos de fea. Dios nos perdona. Aquí la madre con todo. Vamos a enseñarles quién manda. ¡Disparen! ¿Qué es el carajo? 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 ¿
Tango down. Shit balls. Take cover already. Tango down. Sé que alguien me escucha, cabrones. Sé que están ahí. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. Tango down. That's it, we're clear. I got it. I'll fly. All right, I'm in. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us say their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si. Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Hello boys and girls, welcome to the performance section of the video. So I decided to only include uh, the settings that we did play the game because it was the minimum possible we could choose and it was running already too bad. So I got an average of 22, we got a peak over there to 34, that is at the end 
when I walk to the sun, the frame rate did increase to playable frame rate. But what do, can you expect mostly out of this game is playing between the, ter the, the 20s and the 25 FPS. I don't think that this is too much playable, but many people will surely disagree and say that playing between 20 to 25 is fine. Okay, so the game barely drops from the 20 FPS, so yes, it's basically between the 20 and 25 FPS with the lowest settings possible. So the game was using 1.5 GB of RAM, uh, VRAM I mean, uh, 5, gig 5 GB of RAM, which I feel recommended to have at least 8 GB for this game, or at least 6 in the worst case scenario. CPU usage was between the 40s and the 90%, depending if you are riding a car or not, and the GPU usage was giving its maximum. So that's why I want to talk about Tom Quincy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, hope you enjoyed the video, and I too hope to see you soon. Goodbye.